All right. So what do you got for a movie? Okay. Okay. I'm thrilled about my movie today because I had this movie in the hopper. And then... I think it's pronounced Hoppa. It is not. Okay. Good. Is it Hoppa? No, it's Hopper. Oh. I had this movie, a documentary. Taking on the dyslexic kid. Yeah, uh, I know. That's not, it's, not, it's like an easy... I was actually doing, a was making a joke about... There's, a, the there's an ad about the... the never mind. All right. Um... I had this movie ready to go uh-huh. a couple of months ago. And then this, then it's called, uh, it's a documentary. It's the Joan Rivers documentary uh. called Piece of Work. And it, I'm really not kidding that I had it. I love it. I watched it about a year ago. It's such a good documentary. And then she died, God rest her soul. And so I thought it would be a perfect yeah. movie to recommend. I've today. actually seen it, but it is definitely oh, you worth have? watching. Yeah, I've yes. heard good uh, things about it. Oh, it's, it's definitely so worth watching. It's so good. It's because it, it what it showed was this tenacity that I, you know, you kind of think a little bit, you know that people work hard and they have to go and, you know, you know, strut their stuff and and go, you know, hustle, but you don't know how much this woman like got behind her career. She had so much chutzpah and did and and tried so hard you know well i mean she um she was actually um you know b- pretty smart i mean she did get very like smart. i can't remember what degree she got at one point but she was very smart she, she clearly sort of was like one of those people who um you know she wrote down every one of her jokes she was relentlessly she ha- disciplined she had um uh, you know, like library, old library yes. filing systems of all her jokes ever, ever, ever. She had a Dewey Decimal System for jokes? More yeah. or less. Yeah. Wow. No, she did. And 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 then she opened it, and the first one she pulls out is hilarious. But I don't think it was just tenacity. I mean, it was tenacity, but it really came from some... Business-minded. Well, not just business-minded. But I mean, I got the sense that, like, when... When her when her show got canceled on, uh, I think it was on Fox or no, wherever and, it was. NBC. And NB- yeah. no, no, no. She had a she had a talk show. The one that Johnny Carson got pissed at her about. Yeah, right. And, and that's why she was never invited back to that's oh, right. NBC. And that's then her mean. husband basically committed suicide because of the failure of that show in many respects. I that's mean, why, I mean, really. Well, uh, he was very difficult apparently in uh, in dealing with the show, and I think. Um, she became sort of terrified and and put all that energy into pushing her career in a way that um, most people at that age don't do. don't do and um, but most people who are young most people don't do it either because yes, you don't true. understand how hard you have how to old work was she when all that happened when like in her 60s well so really yeah she was probably in 70s, her 70s uh, I maybe. mean this happened in the 80s and so 30 Five years ago, uh-huh. she was in her probably in her fifties. But this yeah. documentary takes place n- about ten about years ago. ten years ago, and she you see her on a daily ba- basis, just being so regimented and on it, and like returning the phone call and getting the dates yes. and writing the jokes, and 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 it's such a good example. When I watched it, I was like, wow, I can up my game a lot in this department. You know, like. I, if I wasn't thinking about that movie, I might have come here today and forgotten my book and like not dealt. And but as a performer or as someone who writes and who, as someone who sells their creativity in a way, like writes books or has a TV show or whatever, an actress, painter, you have to hustle and you you can't hide behind the I'm an artist. Yeah. BS because yeah. it's a business. Yeah, none of that. She had none yeah. of that, and it's a very, very, very good lesson because it's it's hard to hustle. When I got down in New York from Boston, uh, and I, my attitude was like, I know I'm going to outwork everybody here. And uh, when I went to LA, I was just like, I can't wait to clean up in LA because I'm going to outwork everybody. I'm gonna, you know, I'm just I'm gonna go in. But I lost that in terms of. I mean, I think I lost the desire to be in that that entertainment world um, because I think I do that on some level in in radio uh, on the uh, in the prep side, not so much in the business side. I don't I, 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 I can't. It's a it's a lot of w- it's a lot of work. And that's a really interesting thing of like I'm going to outwork everybody. And I think that's kind of a, in some ways her talent and her hoods, but how funny she was and how um, 
irreverent and how charming was a big part. But then this other part, what you see in the movie, is that this huge engine and her drive, it's got to be 50, 60, 70% of that, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's really, and, and I, and I, it's. You have to so have a baseline impressive. of talent, I think. Uh, you cannot, you, you have to have a baseline of talent more often than not, although there's really untalented people. And you also, so you also have to have a tremendous amount of, um, you have to put a tremendous amount of work into it. And humility. And then luck. She, luck. And she, but she would, she would go and do clubs that were way, but be, like below her in, terms of where her career had been she was like had to go backwards it's like rock bands that suddenly are playing right. at, you know cbgb's or whatever the, that's closed now but you know little or like big huge bands that played madison square garden and then the band breaks up and then you see the guitar player like sitting there at you know one time when, when andre agassi was working his way back after like injuries and stuff like that he you know massive endorsement contracts top player in the world and he was playing in tournaments where they had to keep their own score right like there was an empire so that's well exactly maybe the type of did thing. you read open because that's, I did read open. that's one of the best books that i've book. ever read in my that's life that's a great book yeah that's another recommendation open that's a yeah. great 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 book and it shows because it shows the great thing about this documentary and, and is that it shows all the like machinations all the like you see her desk like you see her her schedule book you see all that stuff and it's really it's just so impressive and that's when i because joan rivers i was always like what I, I mean i you know i wasn't that on, I, I liked her and everything, but when I saw that movie, I loved her. I think I was always um, a, a fan because she was in sort of the the same sort of universe as um, uh, as Lenny Bruce. Yes, and that was that somehow always appealed to me. But she was she from what I understand. I mean, I never met her, but um, there's a lot of comedians out there who she was very very gracious to, very well, helpful. That that that's sort of clear in the movie too. I feel yeah. like I think you see that, and you see Kathy Griffith stuff like people like that raising the roof to her. And um, so anyway, it's sad that she died, but she the the the, the movie was was is gra- a great way to kind of watch her life and you know, take a lesson from it because it was it was it's really inspiring. Jay Tingle, oh. wow, uh, worth recalling that much of Joan. Uh, Joan Rivers' shtick was straight-up hatred. She was desperate in her pursuit of acceptance among wealthy Republicans. Her last months featured a homophobic, transphobic ad hominem attack on the Obamas in her declaration that Palestinians deserve to be killed. She seems to be an incredibly narcissistic person who also loathed herself. She blazed a trail, and she also wandered into the woods. Will you be shedding crocodile tears for Kissinger? You're joking. You're really comparing Henry Kissinger to Joan Rivers? But with respect to... His analysis of China was much more sophisticated than hers. (laughs) 